Good morning, it's Monday. Hope you've all had a good weekend. Um, yeah, it's a bit later because I've had that hospital appointment. It is just after half ten, so I'm gonna head over to Middlesbrough now. And yeah, that plumbing loading show that we went to see Wednesday last week, we've got an oil leak on that. Um, and then on the way back through, it's worked out quite nice. On the way back through, there's a DX10 to service as well. Just the first service, shouldn't take too long. So we'll crack on, we'll head over to the northeast. Uh, we had some thunder showers last night, which was uh, pretty impressive. And yeah, it has enough cleared the air. It's nice and fresh now. It was 30, 30 odd degrees yesterday, 22 and a half today. It's so much nicer. So yeah, right, get my podcasts on and uh, I'll see you in Middlesbrough. So we are back. Finally, the roads were absolutely atrocious. There's about two bad accidents on the A66. So yeah, it is now half past one in the afternoon. And uh, yeah, anyway, we're here at this shovel. You can see what a mess it's making. Um, I'm not really too happy with these silver blocks that join the metal pipework to the rubber pipework. So um, what I'm going to do is reseal it as I did with this side. I mean, this side started to weep again, but um, yeah, I'm going to reseal that and order replacement blocks. Now I did call into hydraulic spot <clears throat> um, and there's two different types of blocks you can get. Um, and it's all, I need to get the, the, the hole centers that way and that way to determine whether it's this one or this one that I need. So um, I'm going to do that, order two proper blocks because I have a feeling those blocks on there are the caps and they've been drilled and threaded to half inch BSP and that's where we've got the problem. Um, I'll show you in a second. I've got a couple on the van but I, I didn't think they were right last time so I didn't put them on. Um, but I'll just double check now. So I've got two problems with this adapter which is the one that's been fitted to the machine that uh, evidently this wasn't leaking when I was here on Wednesday but it decided it was going to leak back end of last week. Uh, this is the adapter that I've got on the van which obviously is the next size up so that is an inch flange and that is a inch and a quarter flange and it's the 3000 psi spec so that's the measurements that i've got so i've got two of those ordered with half inch uh, the three quarter uh, bsp outputs so they're ordered and um, so the first issue i've got is i don't know if you can see but this has been dressed up with some sort of grinder um, so it isn't a nice flat surface so that's the first issue i've got with it second issue is if you look down the hole of this this fit in here is sort of true with the walls of the, the flange if you like whereas this one here has been tapped into this block and what my concern is the oil is getting by these threads here um, and sort of coming out the side of this doughty seal whether there's any truth to that i don't know and evidently last time i was here i replaced that seal and i replaced that seal um, which i'm going to do again what i'm also going to do is just put some hydraulic thread lock on it as well just to try and stop the flow of oil because Got a day's work book tomorrow. The parts should be in tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow at some point. Um, so it's gonna be Wednesday's job to come and swap these out, which is a nuisance. Um, perhaps if I seal both of them up, get the bits in stock, and it'd be nice to just tie it in with the first service, which would be 250 hours, but I mean, the machine's only done 15 now, so yeah. <laughs> It'll be a good 10 11 weeks before um, we're anywhere near a, the first service, I would imagine. But anyway, if I've got the bits in my van, I've got them, and I'll touch base with the um, with the manager here once I've got them, and we'll, we'll get a day to come down and 
I'll come back across and replace them, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a shame. It's a shame to come. The best part of well, today it was two and three quarter hours. And um, yeah, it is a shame. Never mind. I'll, uh, I'll try and reseal that as best I can and we'll, uh, we'll put it back on for now. Yeah, you can sort of see again this side here has also been looked at with a grinding wheel of some description and you know that surface just isn't isn't flat enough there's a bit of a burr on there as well um but yeah threads are all right on the fitting itself look we'll just have to uh do the best that we can i think just get it kind of sealed up for a couple of days. It's all it's got to last. Okay. Let's see if we've got any sealant now. Sure I do. Sure I do. I thought that I did. I did sort of pick up on that the first time I came to it. Um, but as the other side wasn't leaking, I thought, well, if the other side isn't leaking, it's maybe it's just a bit of bad luck. Um, sure, it's this one. Ah. Yeah. Is it that one? Thread sealant. I'll try this thread sealant and uh, see how we go after that. That's both adapters taken off. I've sealed up the threads with some hydraulic thread sealant um, so hopefully that will keep the machine going for the time being um, I just noticed another oil leak on it so I'll show you that I would imagine this has just been knocked when I was working it I noticed this pipe was damp um, yeah when I've had a look it's uh, it's just a bit loose I think that's probably more than likely been knocked so yeah i'll give that a good tighten up one less job to do another day isn't it right i've left the doosan machine running because it's uh typical in it started to check the hydraulics for any more leaks and it started doing an automatic region so i've left it running and um, my next job is a little dx10 on the way back so it's uh, 46 minutes in the right direction um it's a little dx10 to service so should be there for 20 to 4 ish, but I do need diesel desperately. It, like the fuel light came on at Scotch Corner, and that was 50 odd mile ago. So I better go and get some diesel before we uh, lose the motion. Okay, right, I've got to my DX10 service. We've just had it uh, running for a couple of minutes and drained the engine oil out down my bit of cardboard, stop it going on the track track frame um, as expected would it be the first service that engine oil filter was seriously tight I don't know yeah there it is look it uh, it took a bit of busting off we've got that um, so it's sat up between two services its first service would have been 50 hours according to the book and the second first service if you like is 250 so um, I've gone ahead and changed the engine oil filter Done the done the hydraulic filter which would be 250 and I'll do the fuel filter which I think was 250 as well. Um might as well while I'm sort of over in this direction because it's right in the corner where I would normally get to. Um but yeah, of all the filters that I change on diggers, the only filter that I'll ever pre-fill is this hydraulic filter. I find if you don't pre-fill this filter the, you end up with a real noisy cavitation noise in the pumps and uh, there is a bleed there is a bleed uh, fitting on there that you can bleed it up with but um, I kind of get through my hydraulic oil reasonably quickly so I know the hydraulic oil in there is good and not contaminated so I'm happy to fill that just try and save the pumps a bit of a uh, bit of noise and a bit of bit of air so i'll always pre-fill that filter anyway 
So all I've got left to do is this diesel filter and put about five liters of oil. That's my work's phone ringing now with more bad news probably. So I'll just grab that. Right, 10 minutes of phone calls later and uh, I'm about to <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to finally get around to changing this fuel filter. Oh, my day tomorrow has just gone peat tongue, completely peat tongue. Um, got a nine ton Mechlac dump to go and see in Carlisle. And then just out of Carlisle, there's a 140 zero tail swing. The gauge panel's gone off, the radio's gone off, the heat controls don't work. Um, he's pulled the radio out and he's found a wire that's rubbed through. Um, but he says all the fuses are okay and he's still got 14 volts to that wire but everything else is off um, so yeah wiper isn't working screen's gone off and radio is off and the heater controls aren't working so I'm going to have to have a look at schematic see if there's one common feed to that but surely that one common feed, if it's come from a fuse, it should be. A fuse should have blown. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a good one. So my trip over into the northeast coast tomorrow might be put on hold till back end of the week now by the sound of it. Um yeah, we'll just have to see. Just have to see, but that'd be interesting. Good little wiring fault to get my head into. Hmm. Right, that's the machine serviced. Customer also got a metre square of his floor clean because I managed to uh, run engine oil all the way down the side of the engine. So that's really, really annoying. Um, I was chatting away and the rocker cover filled with oil as I was pouring. So as I was pouring, thinking the oil was getting away, it was kind of getting away, but it was getting away down the side of the engine. So yeah, not happy about that, but there we go. Right, I'm gonna head back, head back home now. It will be about an hour and a half. I'm not entirely sure what time of the day it is now. It's, yeah, 20 past five, so I better crack on, but uh, yeah, right, I'll uh, catch you in a bit. Right, there we go then. That's another nice little job jobbed. Um, that job came in via uh, Instagram, actually. Um, he'd seen me Instagram and YouTube bits. So we got him booked in for a service via that, which is quite cool. Um, so yeah, little DX10 jobbed, another one off the list. It's looking busy this week. Um, my day that I'd planned for tomorrow, that's, I don't know when I'm gonna get that done now. Um, I've got a few breakdowns, a um, few breakdowns to get around and some services that are booked and things like that. So the week is looking busy till about Friday morning. So I'm just hoping that when the phone does ring, the machine is gonna be in an area that I'm already visiting or that I'm already at. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, it is half past five. It's an hour and 26 minutes to my front door. So I'm gonna point the van in the direction of the clouds, head back over to Cloudy Cumbria. So we'll leave it at that for today. It's probably not, well, we'll see how it, we'll see how the video turns out, but busy week next week. So keep your eyes peeled for those videos. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget if you haven't already hit the subscribe button for more bits and pieces head over to Ali's Digger Diary on Instagram and TikTok which has been a little bit quiet of late because um, just been busy with harvest, busy with work, busy with stuff on at home. It's just been busy so I'll get back into the rhythm of, uh, of doing that as well but the YouTube's my priority social media wise anyway for the time being right have a good evening everyone i'll see you tomorrow busy week ahead let's be getting on